Good morning, my sweet crafty friends. This is Mary, and you're watching Cards TV. I am so sorry that I did not get a Silhouette Monday video up for you yesterday. I was just swamped and could not get one up, so I apologize for that. But today we're going to make a quick little card. We're going to use the Cricut Close to My Heart Art Philosophy cartridge. Love this cartridge. All our cuts today are coming from this one cartridge. And I got this from my sweet friend, Judy Ashmore, who's a Close to My Heart representative. If you need a cartridge or anything or a catalog, I'll have a link at the end of the video. And you can contact Judy and she will get you a catalog right out. We'll also be using Thankful For You, one of my Cards TV stamp sets. And we're going to use Happy Harvest. And I'm going to be using this Color Book Beach House paper stack. This is double sided and you can see all the papers that are in here. I love these colors for late summer and early fall. They're just so pretty. It's a good uh, stack for Indian summer. We'll also be using uh, some polka dot. This is from Echo Park and this is from, I think it's called Dots and Stripes Collection. But I think that's so cute. So I'll get this out of the way. We'll get started. This is a really quick and simple little card. We're going to start with a craft cardstock base. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's a landscape style card. And we've got three layers that are going on top of this. We've got this orange and white polka dot. And this layer was cut at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. We've got another craft layer. This is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And then this is from that uh, beach house stack. And this is three and three quarters by five. And I'm just going to take my adhesive and get all these layers adhered to the front. I love adding layers like this. It just adds so much to the card. That's a cute stripe on the back too, isn't it? Now our base is all ready. And let me show you what's going on here. On page 36 in the Art Philosophy cartridge, I came over here and cut out three of these little acorns and I cut them at two inches. You hit shift and cut the bottom layer and I'll show you one of them. Here it is right here. Isn't that cute? You cut the bottom layer out of the brown or the craft and then you hit shift again and come up here to layer and cut the top piece and I've done mine out of craft and some more of that polka dot paper. And I've cut three of these, and they're on one thickness of foam tape. And I took some crochet thread and just tied a little bow for the top of each one. And I'm going to line these three up right here. I just love little acorns. They're so cute. Now the bottom of this, these acorns, I ran through my Cuddlebug Swiss Dots folder just to give it some extra texture and those little dots match the polka dot caps on the acorns. I wanted to add a little splash or a little pop of another color so I went over to page 60 and right down here under font layer is this pretty flourish that kind of looks like a vine. So I cut this out at an inch and a quarter out of some green. Here it is right here. And I'm going to add this right down here. And I showed you this Tombow Mono Multi I got the other day and I'm going to use this to put this vine on. Just about like that. And I did use Flip because you can see mine's backwards from this one but I wanted it to fit nicely under the acorns and I also wanted room for my sentiment right down here. So this was cut in an inch and a quarter on flip. Then for my sentiment I went back to page 36 and cut out this shape right here 
and I cut this at one inch and it was the perfect size for my stamp. Now I've stamped this with Memento Rich Cocoa Ink to keep the theme of the browns and the oranges going. That's Happy Harvest. And then I inked around it with some Tim Holtz Tea Dye Distress Ink. I've also inked around my acorns and kind of went over the dots a little bit to help them stand out. This is on one thickness of foam tape. This is going right down here. And you can see how this vine just works out to where that sentiment can nestle right in there. And it works perfectly with my acorns. So I'm going to get all this adhered down. We'll come back and take one last look at this little card for fall. Here's my super quick, super easy card for fall. I've got two ready to go now. And I love the fact that I was able to get all my images cut from just one cartridge. Love that. Love the colors on this. And on the inside, I'll probably use some more of these same papers and maybe put Thinking of You or Happy Fall something like that but I'm good to go now with two cards thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me today guys and I'll see you again soon bye now